Hi everyone. Welcome to Stars. So, this is a game about stars and uh, looking at the stars. You get your controllers and you can actually point to the stars and see the various constellations drawn out along with a little reference drawing to help you out. I guess so this one's just a little triangle so it doesn't really need a reference drawing. That's pretty cool. It's like a giraffe. Huge swan, Hercules. So this is just a small snatch of stars because we're only on one fixed location. And you can't go around to different parts of the world and look at different uh, constellations that you can see from here, but what you can do is you can teleport onto this little thing here, which takes you out to the whole solar system. So, you can look all around you, under you, and you can see the sun and the planets, and you can see all of the constellations out there, and you can teleport around. Get your face up close to Saturn. See what it looks like inside. It's apparently just empty, just invisible. Oh yeah, get those rings in my face. And then one of the other cool things is you can select any star, and you can get kind of like a zoomed in look at it. Give me that star. Oh, so that's what that star looks like. Glowing hot white ball of gas. Pretty awesome. Radius unknown, mass unknown. But it, we do know that it's 173 light years away from Earth. Look at this one. Sheraton Sartheum. Oh, it looks exactly the same. This one. Whoa. It's got cool sounds too. <laughs> That's kind of like our sun. So it's kind of like Elite Dangerous, going around and looking at stars when you explore in Elite Dangerous, except you just get to stand here. Look at the uh, solar system, and you get to see all the constellations and the names, which is pretty cool because I don't know most of these constellations. Pegasus? Hell yeah. I don't even know what that is. That's like a uh, snake dog hybrid, I guess. Taurus. Aruiga with her baby goat. Lynx, pretty straightforward. Cancer crab. Oh sweet, a unicorn. Oh man. Saturn just hit me. Decapitated me with its rings. Monoceros. Cute unicorn. And we got Ryan. Hunter. There's his belt. Those three stars. Oh, zoom in on them. Zoom in on the belt buckle. Well, it's actually pretty cool. Are they all blue stars? See, this game is very educational. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. I don't think that's the star I wanted to see, though. Another green planet slash star. Sweet. Let's look down here. 
Muska. Looks like a bee or a fly. Centaur, that's a huge one. Triangle. Back in the simpler times. Scorpius is pretty cool. Well, wow, that one's really long. So red star. So clock. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this game is all about looking around, teleporting around, and looking at all the stars, and all the constellations. There's also some way to get it to talk to you and tell you the history of the constellation. But I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. But even without that, it's a pretty cool game. So you can choose between the chilled out, standing on a dock, in the tropics, looking at the stars, or the mind-blowing solar system. I like that one. I thought it was a uh, squid at first, but I think it's just a woman's hair. Also kind of looks like a butt up there. Anyways, that is Stars. I think it's about a $5 game. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun if you don't go in with uh, the wrong expectations. It's basically just a game where you chill out and look at stars. And you can sit down and play it, you can stand up and play it. Or you can even like lay on the couch and play it. Alright, we're going to go out with this one. Thank you for watching this video. Check out my channel if you want to see some more VR gameplay videos. Have a great day, and goodbye. I can turn the needle like that. <gasps> Holy shit, I actually did it. There we go, easy peasy.